Right, that's right. The resentful spirit's senseless obsession turns into a, a tangible hand, and the shadow of the old disaster will conceal the heavens. That's exactly what was written on the mystic scroll of eons. It refers to the followers of Nanook, the destruction, using antimatter to create a galactic weapon of war. think I'd be fortunate enough to witness <laughs> Oh, have you also come to witness the power and miracle of the eons? Then go over there. There's a good spot right there. Beware of any interferences from your mortal body when observing. You must seize every detail. When an eon appears, even the tiniest trace must not be missed. <laughs> if only I caught the Antimatter Legion sooner. I'm fine. This pain is nothing, really. I'm used to it. In fact, I should be proud of it. It's a reminder of being able to protect everyone. <clears throat> but, uh, don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. Whew. There were a few researchers who didn't make it. But the rest are fine. Mostly minor injuries. But I'm worried about their mental states. Most of them came to the space station because they admired Madame Herta. But now they can't reach her or even their own families. I just hope they can all survive this crisis. My first impression was that she was the daughter of a rich man, owners of a big company. She was kind to me, though. But when she went to the space station, I followed her know much about science, but I'm glad to be able to protect people in pursuit of their research. I hope all this chaos will end soon. Push the stick down, Alfred. Oh, sorry, sorry, I got the wrong person. Thanks, kid. We're doing some pre-checks for the satellite remote sensing. I'll hold down the button to monitor the signal, and you push the control stick according to my instructions. But first, let's talk about the controls. Up is the spectrometer, down is the filter, Left is the reference level, and right is the attenuator. Our pre-checks have three steps. Turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, and finally outputting the signal to the filter. It's quite a bit to remember. You got everything? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Wrong order, kid. Let me demonstrate. Push the control stick up to activate the spectrometer, then right for the attenuator, and finally down for the filter. 
Are you ready? Three, two, one. Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> that was very helpful of you, kid. Alfred was the researcher in charge of this. He was in the storage zone earlier. He didn't make it back. Abraham was close to him. I don't know how to tell him about it. The top priority is to preserve the space station and concentrate on the work at hand. Day, but tomorrow will always be one step ahead of me. Look! The obstacle detection terminal has recorded 142,856 attacks. The next count will be 142,857. I know in my heart that when I see that hopelessly beautiful cyclic number, it will mean the poetic end of my life cycle. Everyone keeps saying that! Things will get better. Things won't always be this bad. Negative, positive, a negative of a negative is a positive. Life inevitably comes to an end, but not today. How insightful! Yes, of course! The closer you approach death, the more you appreciate life! I will pull myself together. Thank you. That was kind of you. Mind you, that's the Doomsday Beast. 
The Legion's planet destroyer. The space station is Herta's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. But we can't just run away like this, right? The Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And Herta's not here. The station's defenses are too weak to stand against the Antimatter Legion. Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. They came prepared, and everyone here is not. That's why we have to leave and take him with us. Hmm? He's that important? He's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course I may be wrong. Hmm. As you say so. All right. What should we do next? This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but if the Destruction's Emanator were to appear... Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. Clemency? Never heard of it. for you. Overhaul. 
Let's make it quick. Reach the end of the story in your own way. No interest in stoking conflict. Never heard of it. to me let's go step aside I have no interest in stoking conflict You won't get away! My turn! This is our chance. Combat is a series of precise ma-
Express isn't here. It has to be nearby. Let me go take a peek with my sharp eye. Wait, March! Huh? Huh? The Doomsday Beast. It's really here. to me. With me out here, how can we lose? Combat is a series of precise machinations. Make it quick. You won't get away! Move. 
them aside. I have no interest in still being conflict. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision. You have the worst luck running into me. <laughs> Combat is a series of precise machinations. Clemency? Never heard of it. machinations.
time for a detailed overhaul. See? Never heard of it. machinations. Revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Let's go. Make it quick. Save 
Major, welcome! I try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! <laughs> Time for a detailed overhaul. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! Break! That is a series of precise machinations. so easy next time. Never heard of it. You won't. 
you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Precise machinations. Okay now. Let's talk somewhere else. Is this the space station? Hello there. Not bad. It would have been even better if you didn't faint, but thanks to you, the Doomsday Beast was as tame as a kitten. It had no temper at all. Yes, and you are the hero. Get up when you feel better. Himeko wants you to go find her. I have something to do, so I won't go with you, alright? something, feel free to text me.
You're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the Express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. Well, I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. At least give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? Xandar came up with the name. You think I like it? So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing! I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do- Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in his body. Oh, you're right! This little one's body truly is strange. Alright! I got it. But I'm still gonna call you Little Twerp. The space in my brain is too valuable to store people's names. Oh! Well, thanks for remembering my name, then. That's different. We have business with each other. Um, what was your name again? Uh, uh, forget it. But let's focus on the one who can store a Stellaron in their body. Can I bring him in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask him yourself. This little twerp really has a temper. Don't worry, I won't hurt a hair on your head. With my skills, even surgery would be painful. Aren't you worried about that bomb inside of you? Let me help you while I'm still interested. Once I'm not, I won't do any studies, even if you beg me. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or, maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? Oh, not my problem. <sighs> you also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides... We can come back any time to let her to conduct her research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way, I won't need to keep worrying about this little twerp all the time. <laughs> Perfect. Now you should meet the others of the Genius Society. Some of them will trick you into thanking them after they milk you dry. At least I have my honesty going for me. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you.
There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let him have a talk with Asta first. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision.